You know I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. as beautiful as ever. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. why you were so eager to practice. Strike! You're not in the 
circus pirouette. Wrong footwork. Enough, get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right, take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What that?
You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wildlands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet. Soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. We'll be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Necrophages follow me. Let's go before any more show up. Bird skull and black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? 
Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. It's gone. Yeah. Come out. God, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said... Leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountain, sure, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it.
What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms. The Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Law's freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. <clears throat> Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white. Riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Thanks. For everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest.